hello everyone welcome to this new video lecture of autocad so in this lecture we will see how to draw ap cyclad with the help of autocad command so first of all we need to open the software in our system which is installed previously and we'll click on the new command if you click on the new command then on drawings it will be opened on your screen and uh, we need to, this class will discuss how to draw the epicycloid so the question will be given like to draw an epicycloid given the generating and directing circle radius of radius r 25 mm and capital r 75 mm respectively so here we can see two different circles are there this is the circle of rolling circle or you can say generating circle and this circle another circle is there actually that is called your directing circle so this will give the direction and this circle will roll over the directing circle so let's come to the autocad space so here we will go as per the our previous diagram previous requirement a setup requires and here we'll give yeah this is the page created for us so in this space we can draw our diagram so first of all we need to take a line command on this so that line will be two radius are given one is 25 one is 75 so if you add this one you will get 100 so let's take a draw a line of 100 and in that you can draw one circle of one uh, radius is given 75 so 75 mm one another one circle we can draw here and from here we can take it 25 is clear okay now this angle we need to identify like how much how it will be rotated over the circle this one so to uh, identify the angle the formula is actually small r by capital r into 360 degree so small r equal to 25 and capital r equal to 75 into 360 so it will come with an angle of 120 so we'll click here we'll type rotate rotate command and after uh, giving rotate command right click here go for copy and go for this angle of minus 120 or we can give 240 angle anyone we can give on this so next is we can we have to draw a line on this from this yeah this is the straight line we can see the green color which is highlighting here then only you can identify okay this is straight so 25 now this line I can draw any one side from here to here I can draw from here to here to where I can draw I can draw anywhere so next thing is now I have to divide the circle into number of equal parts so for that I will go for the array comment and the polar array here we need to select the center point of this then automatically it was divided into six number parts because it is already fixed so we can divide this circle into eight parts or you can go for 12 parts also how much parts we require you can divide this now we can trim this object extra arc here okay now uh, this circle we can offset it actually select the circle offset o common offset throw so here we can go for one then we can select offset and throw is there now we can select this and offset o enter select this o enter throw command is there not like that select this one type o command and throw yeah here finally one more we can select this one o enter offset and 
you can select here okay now like this we can complete this now this one we can extend extend this one or this will be not extended or you can directly you can stretch it to the next point and finally uh, this one also need to be extended actually now you can extend this this arc and this arc this arc this all these curves we have uh, extended and one more actually we need to draw one arc and so for that also i forgot to offset let yeah throw so up to the center okay so this is the center arc now this is most of the things we have done next thing is we have to divide this arc into again equal number of parts so divide comma divide enter and select this in number of parts 8 so we have divided the arc here but uh, this uh, division of visible is not there so we select the point actually point style now you see we can see that uh, angle is divided this arc in the sense the angle is divided into eight number parts so the rolling circle will be roll over the as i told you directing circle here so for that yeah now we can do one thing we can mark this point so we will go for the text single line text and here we will give yeah 3 enter angle 0 so what is the value will be there here 3 height then this was our P point and as we know this one you can give 7 this is your 6th here 5 here 4 and this is your 3 and this is your 2 and this is your 1 and this is your 8 point and after that we can give this point as center point C now next this one we can give C1 C2 and this is your C3 and this is your Okay, this one leave it. We'll go for this C5 and C7, and finally this is C8. Okay, and this is your O point. Okay, so naming completed. Now we need to move this circle, this circle from center point one to center point two, center point. So C point to C one point. So this is your C one point. Now see this circle is crossing the first curve which point? Now this point. So P O enter and we just click the point. Similarly, again previously how we've done for the cycle, similar things now need to be done here. This is your third point and P O enter. So this is your second arc and center point 2 to center point 3 now center point 3 and this is the arc number 3 so PO number 3 also you can give it here point number 3 and from here to again center point 4 again PO enter this is the top post point similarly continuously you can move from one point to another point yeah and uh, this is the arc number five you can see uh, three and five are in same three and five are in the same line so p o enter you can give the point number five again we can move to c o five to c o six and c o six is second and this second actually the second will come here actually second and uh, sixth both are the same location same arc is there so this is your sixth again we can move this r from c6 to c7 and c7 is this one first and seventh point see we highlighted in here so p o enter 
you can mark it here and finally point will be obviously here itself if you move the arc from c7 to c8 okay now you can see now this one can be copied this one can be copied from here to center point one okay and done now by that we have most of the things we have completed now we just we need to join all these points okay we'll change the color at least we'll go for some we can keep some white color we can keep some red color any one color we can keep it here so let's go for the red color and let's try some different value so line width later we'll change it now go for the spline spline tool you can select your spline tool or you can type spline command also now the point need to be started from here p point first point here then second so you can start the base one and this is your second point yeah next to this is the third and this is the fourth and this is the fifth sixth and this is the seventh and finally this is the eighth one now this both the lines should be in the same line so then we can if it is coming like this then you can see how it is changing okay so we won't go for like this so what we'll do this both lines should be in the same then we can enter it keep like this we'll enter. so our epicycloid is completed now here and what we can do we can at least increase the thickness of this arc oh, okay already we have given and but it's not visible so we'll go for the line word setting display okay now it is highlighted here and uh, dimensions we can give uh, linear dimension okay ln ln dimension will give from here to here how much yeah 75 now you can change okay same color will keep it now angle required so for angle we can give this angular first point and second line angle is 120 similarly diameter one required here we select diameter of this circle is 50 okay so most of the thing completed now next we'll do the tangent and normal for this epicycloid so for that we need to consider we need to take a point on the this curve so let's take one point on this any arbitrary point you can select and draw the circle here as you're taking center point of this and this will be 25 radius okay so the thickness is continuing that same thickness like what i've given we'll read this one let's keep it here for the we can see this circle is crossing or it is intersecting the center arc the center arc is this one so where it is crossing you can change the color of this okay now at this point it is crossing so enter you can give the point here now I'm going to join this center point to this point with the line command and from here yeah now this one need to be joined to the O point and enter so maximum things we have completed now this circle we don't need now we can delete this and the line which is crossing this base arc of this so from there we need to draw the normal so for that again line command l enter and from this point we can join this and so this one we can finally extend it also okay this is our normal 
normal to the epicycloid. Similarly, tangent is very easy once we will draw the normal. Just select the light and type rotate command RO, enter. Specify the base point through which how much rotation required. Now, see if I rotate this one, it will be rotated like this. So, what I need to do, I need to keep the normal as well as I need to draw the tangent. For that, what I will do, so right click here, copy, copy that line and make an angle of how much 90 degree. Yeah, now see, so I can draw the tangent. So this is our required normal and tangent on the epicycloid. For that again we can give the text, we will go for the text single line text and so this is your tangent and this is your normal and, and this is your normal. And other point we can give P1, P2, P3, P4 up to P8 we can mention, uh, not required. So lastly we can complete, this is the required epicycloid for the given problem. So this is all about from me. So if anyone having any kind of doubts, you can give a comment in the comment section. So I hope all of you understood. Thank you. Thank you all.